Now that the smoke has cleared in the same U.S. Capitol that was taken over by the mob of Trump supporters. The House will be in order. Exactly one week later, Maryland Democrat Anthony Brown beginning the proceedings. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. That would end with a U.S. House majority voting to impeach President Trump for the second time days before he's set to leave office. This is an unprecedented action warranted by this unprecedented moment in history. Donald Trump with his actions on January the 6th, which I believe were treasonous, they were, it was sedition. It's, it's holding this president accountable for an attack on our democracy. And taking place on the House floor, a fierce debate where some Maryland House Democrats made their case in holding the president accountable. We cannot wait until January 20th. Donald Trump must be removed. Including the person who helped draft the resolution, 8th District Representative Jamie Raskin, now the lead impeachment manager for the upcoming Senate trial. They could have killed us all. Though the lone Maryland Republican in Congress, Representative Andy Harris, wasn't in D.C. for the proceedings and didn't vote, he said in a tweet, while I certainly would have voted against impeachment, my constituents were better served by my work in the operating room today than by taking part in this pointless exercise. This as the trial will soon turn to the Senate. The trial in the Senate is, is likely to begin, you know, sometime around uh, January 20th. And Senator Van Holland went on to say that at this time, it's unclear just how long the trial could last. Reporting live, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV 11 News.